BigTractorPower.com is at the 2017 National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. We're here with a fellow YouTuber and uh, ag guy, Mike Less, who's got a great channel on farm equipment and all sorts of machines running. Uh, Mike, it's great to meet you here at the show and uh, really enjoy watching your channel because it is, you know, it specializes in versatile and I like seeing those big tractors. Okay, well thank you and thanks for coming to the show and taking the time to do, a, do an interview with me and uh, ask me about my YouTube channel. I've been a follower of uh, Big Tractor Power as well and I uh, guess a little bit, of, little bit about me. Uh, again, my name is Mike Less. I'm a field service rep with Versatile Tractor. I live in uh, Western Ohio and uh, I travel all over the country uh, calling on Versatile dealers and visiting a lot of Versatile customers and uh, and uh, I just started uh, this kind of YouTube thing, started out as a hobby with me. Uh, I don't watch a lot of TV, but uh, once YouTube came out, I was always watching tractor videos and, and ask, ask my, especially my oldest son, uh, you could ask him, he claims every time he used to walk out to the computer, I was sitting there watching uh, harvest videos or tractor videos. And, and, and you, you make a lot of great videos and, and you're all over the country. You know, I see you, one day you're in Colorado and you're, you're out in Iowa or Texas, um, Kansas, you know, a lot of places. Uh, showing a lot of different agriculture and uh, so how do you how do you get that opportunity um, to see so many neat farms yeah well with with my with my job and uh, calling on calling on the dealers and uh, of course you know I'm out I'm out of town I my job usually I leave home Monday and uh, and come home Friday I usually make a big loop calling on the versatile dealers and visiting customers so since I'm out of town a lot of times in the evening when I'm done uh, with the work uh, I, I ask dealers and of course I know a lot of our customers and stuff so uh, when they're out running in the field I just ask and, and call some people and say hey I'd like to come out and do a do a video shoot and film your tractor you know going up and down the field a little bit and uh, and make a video of it so I really enjoy watching your channel I'm a little envious because you have all the versatile footage and uh, you know I'm always out getting big buds Steigers other big articulated tractors but I, I'm always hunting for versatile and you've got a lot of great footage um, from your travels, so it's uh, really neat to see. Yep, and uh, one thing with me, uh, you know, doing YouTube searches on uh, and stuff, uh, looking for, for Versatile, I'd find stuff, but a lot of it, you know, was out of Canada, obviously, where Versatile's from and, and stuff, and I just thought with, with my job and the customers I see and spending most of my time in the in the Corn Belt, you know, in the Midwestern United States, uh, where I am probably 80% of the time, I thought, hey, this is a, this is a good uh, deal for me. I can videotape these tractors, and I'm sitting in a hotel room, you know, usually four nights a week uh, in the evening, and uh, I can I can make tractor videos. I can put them on YouTube, and I actually uh, actually started this YouTube channel uh, five years ago in February, and and I've slowly uh, built a following. I'm I'm learning as I go, and uh, just just enjoying it. It's a, it's just a hobby. So. Well, I, I enjoy seeing the articulated versatiles, a row crop, and I always think it's neat when you find that the versatile combines running, and uh, so it's neat and. You know, there's such a history. The company just uh, celebrated 50 years, so you're seeing a lot of the, the vintage and the big modern stuff. And uh, I guess just a versatile question here. We got a whole new color, new paint mm -hmm. scheme this year. The tractors behind us, and it yep. looks like people are probably pretty excited about that. Yes, all very, very excited. So uh, yeah, we uh, last year was uh, 50 years for versatile, and they did uh, they built some limited edition tractors with the old heritage colors and uh, there was a lot of demand for it. People said they should, you should just start making them all this color. So we went up to the dealer meeting uh, last November and they made the announcement that going forward, starting all 2017 models will all come in the, in the new colors of uh, red, yellow, and black. Well, they look cool, and I, I can't wait to find one out in the field, but I, I imagine you'll get a few before I find one. So. I, I sure will, and uh, I'm actually really excited about that because uh, if you go through my uh, YouTube channel and see all the versatiles I filmed, uh, I was actually really getting worried about this year. Okay, I got videos of all our tractors pulling all kinds of different implements, so what am I going to do now? You know, can I, I can't go back to these same farms and make new videos of the the same thing people people won't like to watch that so now they've got these new colors that opens up uh, no, i see a whole new avenue here be a status so. symbol to see that and i know you film these two tractors we've got a 310 and a 550 and uh, if you go to mike less on youtube uh, you can see these tractors driving around the parking lot outside the show yep exactly uh, these tractors uh, started showing up on dealers lots here just uh, just a few weeks ago and uh and uh, I got a couple videos. I went to some dealers here, and uh, they had the tractors on the yard. And I knew we couldn't get in the field because it was muddy and and uh, frozen in some areas, and too way too early to be in the field. So we just uh, we just did a short video where we uh, drove the tractor through the dealer's yard, got a couple shots of it going by, and and uh, just getting the just getting them out there. So that's great. So what is uh, what was your favorite thing to film in the past year? What 
Um, well, the it, best find. Uh, there's there's been a lot of them. I'll tell you because uh, with my travels and traveling all the backcountry roads and everything, you never know what I'm gonna gonna run into. Uh, you know, I got a lot of new tractors. Uh, I I grew growing up uh, working for my grandpa. We had uh, a lot of white you know white tractors. So I'm uh, uh, I always like white tractors. So if I see a unique white tractor out there, uh, I, I like to get a you know if I can get a video of them. Um, Pretty, pretty much anything. Uh, I got to take some of the versatile combines, go with them out on a custom wheat harvest last year in Texas and in Oklahoma, working up into Colorado. I got some videos on my channel of that. That was a, a great experience. Got to see some neat things there. So I'm, I'm pretty much open for anything. It's farm equipment, uh, and I want to make a video of it. Sure. Well, I, from the big tractor power, uh, I, my favorite videos that you got, you got a, a new, new idea, Uni, chopping corn, which you just don't see those anymore. And yes. That was awesome to see this fall. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that one, uh, Uni system, I got I got a couple videos on my YouTube channel of an old Uni system, new idea. And uh, that was actually a farmer that lives pretty close to me, and he, he bought a Uni just to open up his uh, his fields, and then he finishes off with a pull-type chopper. And he, he just started chopping corn, and... And I figured he was about ready, and I was going by and seeing him chopping, and I pulled in and asked the guy. Uh, I said, I told him who I was, and I said, I make a lot of tracker videos for YouTube, and I, I don't have any footage of a, a uni system running out in the field. And he, he, he just asked me, he goes, why would you want to film this old piece of junk? I said, you don't understand. I said, people love to see no, this stuff it's run. It's not junk, that's history. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and of course, it's, uh, one thing I will find, it seems like when I pull into a lot of guys' places, uh, it seems like everything was running good, and then all of a sudden you get the camera on them, and then it makes things break. And sure enough, uh, I got the drone up in the air and was filming his uni and he sheared a bolt on the corn head but luckily he was able to get it going again but that just seems like I've, part of the deal i've got that problem a lot i'm like i know they get these fields done but it's usually not when i'm there yeah uh, but that is a great footage because you do a lot of drone and it, yep. to see a uni from the sky was awesome and yep. my other favorite one is you've you've got a versatile customer that's got a versatile 1150 big 470 horsepower tractor from the early 80s pulling a 16 row planter yes and it's just awesome seeing that that machine going back and forth uh, planting corn Yep, there's a, they have a farmer, uh, I met him at some, some dealer open houses and stuff. He was actually a, a versatile dealer back in the 80s before Ford bought in, and, and he still runs a lot of them old vintage uh, versatiles on his farm, and they're in nice shape. And, and I had some, some time one afternoon, and, and he said, sure, come on out, and we're running in the field and, and, and do what you want. So. Well, I highly recommend seeing that at Mike Less on YouTube. and. Uh, just one last question. Uh, what's your most watched video? What has been uh, the most, most popular? Most watched video actually doesn't have a Versatile in it. Uh, I, I was down uh, with the Versatile Combines uh, last summer, and uh, and we were rained out where we were. We couldn't uh, couldn't cut wheat that day. So uh, there was a there's a farmer, uh, Kohanic Harvesting, out of out of Texas and, and Kansas, and they were they were cutting wheat about 40 miles away, and he actually he is a versatile owner on his farm. He's got some versatile four-wheel drives. We called him, and he said, well, we're cutting, and I went over there, and I didn't do anything different with that video than any others. I just, they were pulling the gleaners in the field and getting ready to harvest some wheat, and I got some video, and I don't know what it was about that video. It just it just took off, and, and that's my most watched, uh, most watched video, so. Well, Congratulations. I mean, you've got a great quality channel, and I highly recommend people checking out Mike Less on YouTube. And I also want to thank you from Big Tractor Power. You've uh, provided us with some versatile footage I'll be putting up soon because my number one mission and my top ten list has been to get a, a versatile Delta track, and um, you've got me some footage, so I really appreciate the help out on that. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Anything I can do to help. Another thing I'd just like to mention, too, is uh, I started up, uh, uh, there's a link to it on my YouTube channel. I started up an Instagram page a couple years ago, uh, Farmhand Mike 686 I put a lot of great pictures on my Instagram channel, so if you got Instagram, also check that out. Absolutely. It's a, definitely a cool Instagram and lots of good pictures. Well, Mike, thanks for spending time with us, and um, can't wait to see what's coming from you and from Versatile. Oh, yeah. As, as, uh, soon, uh, we'll soon be in the fields again, so uh, I've had some guys actually already contact me through my YouTube channel that are got some of these new tractors here, uh, and they asked me to come out and do do, uh, do some video of them. So uh, yeah, I'll be awful busy this spring, but I know people are watching and wanting to see this video, and, uh, and uh, I'll get them on as soon as I can. So, again, thank you. Well, I'll be watching. I know a lot of other people, so thanks a lot. Yeah, you're welcome.